Victory final, I suppose, uh, first time in, in what, since 2014. Great to get over the line, and I'm, I'm sure you're all looking forward to it. Yeah, we're, it's great to be back in the final again. Um, we were in the final 2017, but obviously um, lost out that day to the Pearsheek. So, look, yeah, that's a, a couple of years now since we've been there. So, it's brilliant to be back in the final again. Um, so, yeah, we can't wait. Can't wait to get going. So. Speaking to a few people from out that side, and, and the pause is massive after that semi final win. Obviously, uh, you get over the line in a, a big semi final, and it's going to happen. Great to, I suppose, bring that uh, pride back to the parish. Yeah, absolutely. It's brilliant. Um, after after the, the manner of the win on Sunday, look, you can see there's a great buzz around Kamala, people are excited, you can, the extra few people are coming up to look at training and what's going on, the bunting's going up, so look, it's brilliant for the town, obviously look, we've all had an awful time with the last year or two with Covid and stuff, and look, to kind of bring a bit of joy or that to people's lives at home is, is brilliant, and look, we're, that's just, it's great to, to have. Does coming through uh, an extra time quarter final like that, does that really set the precedence where you're pegged back, you're back in the game, you get over the line in the end is that when you start maybe the wheels start going and you say yeah we're, we're on to something here yeah I suppose it certainly wasn't the plan anyway to have to go to extra time in the quarter final but it's just the way it panned out and we face a huge challenge from South Liberties on the day and look we had to go all the way to really see that one out and um yeah, it certainly, obviously, look, the, the other side of it is you'd be slightly concerned going into the Doom game are, are the legs going to be a bit heavy or, or that. But, look, I think we've worked really hard in our conditioning throughout the summer and um, it kind of, you could see, it probably stood to us there in the extra time. And, and thankfully, look, we had another kick in us again last Sunday against Doom to, to really get going. So, yeah, we were really pleased with that. Ahead of the championship, you, you probably weren't given a, a massive shout from from critics and from hunters alike. Uh, did you were you aware of that? And is that something that's in the, the psyche when you're going into a campaign? Um, I suppose. Look, that that's always going to be the case. I suppose. Look, we ha- as you said earlier, we haven't won a county since 2014. Like you've had Napierschig and Patrick Swell in in the last few years, really kind of dominating it. So, look, it's natural that people are going to say, look, are, are Kamala going to be there thereabouts? Um, and don't, so look yeah look all we can do is is kind of we want to just focus on ourselves and see take each game at a time see where it takes us and like we know we've great potential in our team and we've good mix of youth and experience and like on the day we know we can mix it with the best of them and look for we're, it's great that look we got over the line on Sunday and we are in the final now and, and we'll try and look forward to that. I know you're saying you want to obviously focus on yourselves but we were speaking to, to Mark there and he was talking about, he, he heard about various battles through, down through the generations between Kilmallock and, and Patrick's well obviously they're a side who have won the most daily cups, they're looking to obviously stretch it out and, and, and get another notch on the, on the belt so to speak uh, do you think back to I suppose some of the, the history that's involved there? Um, yeah I suppose now in the last few days you do take a small bit of note of it I think the last time both sides met in the county final was 1992 if I'm correct uh, um, hearing and um, so obviously look both teams know each other quite well and um, we've played it against each other a lot in, in the recent years um, in the round robin format and maybe come to semi-final here and there as well but like to be fair yeah Patrick's well look they're top of the roll of honour um, huge club with huge tradition and um, look we face a huge challenge to try and uh, um, outperform them on Sunday week so uh, you talk about that mix of experience and youth. How important has the youth, like of Ocean O'Reilly and Mial Hulahan this year for you? They probably weren't there in 14 when you won a Munster. Yeah, they, they've been brilliant for us, particularly in the last couple of games. Like you see the way Hula and O'Sheen are chipping in with huge scores and like that, that really kind of carried us over the line. And, and look, it's brilliant. Look, we, we have a number of young, young guys on the team and it's great to see them performing and, and kind of reaching, you know, hitting their potential and, and really delivering for Kamalik and um, so yeah, we're we're just delighted to see them coming through, and uh, I suppose us, the older, more experienced guys, are, are just there to try and kind of facilitate and help out where we can and, and keep things going. So yeah, it's gr- it's brilliant. Delighted for the lads that um, you know, they're they're really taking ownership of it. And just with Limerick hurling in the place it is at the moment, how big would it be for the community of Kilmallock to win a county championship with Limerick back to back All Ireland champions? Yeah, it would it'd be massive. Look, uh, I suppose, look, we have to look back to 2014 when we last won it and, and look, the years just go by so quickly and you're like, geez, where did the last few years go? You would have thought at the time, look, we might have gone on and won a few more counties. So, look, it is, it would be massive for Kamalak to, to get their hands on the Daily Cup again and, and you know, brilliant for the young generation, Kamalak and the town itself and to really inspire those young, young guys. So, yeah, it would be brilliant if, if we could pull it off on Sunday week.
Philip, there seems to be a, a real freshness about you this year. Did you change something pre-season or even during the season? Uh, I think there's probably going to be seven or eight of you still in situ from, from 2014, but you know, those miles in the legs, they, they don't look obvious this year. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, good to hear, but yeah, it's something that, to be fair, at the start of the year, given we obviously had a lot more preparation um, this summer with kind of more extended uh, with the restrictions lifted and stuff so we really did kind of hone in on, on the fitness side of things and getting a lot of work into the legs um, while we could obviously there was a big build up so like I think it's um, it is something that has stood to us and it's probably come true in the last few weeks that we can kind of see yeah geez the work we did put in earlier on in the summer has has, um, has been really good for us so. yeah. Very familiar obviously with Tony Constein, but uh, you, you looked towards Galway for a hurling coach, and you know I, I think we can see maybe a slight difference in your style this year as well. You're you're moving a lot of ball through bodies up the field. Yeah, look, it, it's no um, Tony is is very keen on, on playing direct and and trying to go, but Rory then has brought his own kind of blend in terms of the training as well, which has been brilliant. He's been a fresh voice, um, really nice guy, has really good ideas about the game and um, communicates it really well. So look. It, it's, it's made for training has been brilliant and um, it's, it's great to have a fresh perspective there alongside Tony's experience um, and, to, and obviously as we all know Tony has been brilliant for us um, down through the years so yeah really good setup this year. Yeah.